Hey YouTube, um, this is just a quick video showing my audio modulated flyback driver based on a 555 timer. Um, I've got it hooked up with a, an audio amplifier which I pulled off a uh, big TV board. Um, it's pretty good to get parts off them. Uh, it's running off a old um, computer power supply. So, I've been working on it for a while now. Um, you see, I actually was trying to run um, a stereo one, but I realized that didn't work very well. So, um, yeah, basically it um, it all runs off the um, computer power supply. Uh, for a while I was having issues where uh, I think I was having um, shorts to ground, so the power supplies would just switch off, but in this um, configuration it seems seems to be working fine. Um, uh, just the other day I was um, I ended up, once I'd gotten this uh, audio amp working, I was trying to run it and I um, something to do with my 555 um, yeah, the timing on it, uh, I think I was um, cooking my MOSFETs because I was just running it dead short basically. So I ended up, I've killed um, four of my um, IRFP 250Ns which I was using. Um, so yeah, I, I had a whole bunch of uh, TIP 35C um, transistors and I thought, oh, well I'll just give one of them a go and it's actually worked pretty well so I've got a um, nice clear arc happening now. Um, I can show you. You probably can't see the R, but uh, the sound, the hissing sound, is just because of the the contacts. Um, it's using two nails, but it's not a very nice um, breakup point. So um, you should be able to hear the music coming from it. That's not coming from anywhere else, it's just coming from the arc. Uh, the transistor sits at about um, between 50 and 60 degrees at the moment at um, this distance. I'm not showing sure how many amps it's pulling, but uh, it all seems stable. I can run this for as long as I want now. Nothing seems to be heating up. Um, the next step, I'm going to put it all into one board, and I've got Actually, yeah, I've got a bunch of um, trim pots that I'm going to use on it. That was actually a, um, a 5.56 timer, which I ended up killing, which was annoying. Um, yeah, because I was trying to run a stereo, but I found that um, I think the issue was I was getting a voltage drop, which was changing the frequency, so if I turned um, these parts, it would affect this this timer, and same and vice versa. So that was annoying. But yeah. Like I said, this thing could run all day. Yeah, just a um, an idea um, for anyone that um, wants to have a go at making one of these or has made one. When you um, you get your TVs and strip them out, it's worth grabbing um, yeah these um, stereo amplifiers. Um, they're easy to find. They're usually on like one of the big heat sinks. Um, in my case, I had two of them. Um, yeah, and they're not that hard to drive. So uh, this one. Uh, the data sheet had the full schematic of how um, how you should set it up so I just got some of the parts, had some of the parts already but um, they're not hard to wire up um, this is all running off 5 volts the uh, 555 and the amp um, just plugged into the laptop and then the uh, transformer is running off 12 so but um the only real difference that I've found with the transistor compared to the MOSFET is um, 
I think just how many amps it pulls because you get with the MOSFETs I was getting about an inch long arc and um, with this it's um, about one centimeter the arc that I can get where it stays um, smooth and clear so yeah